Valo check. Valo check. sustains us through the difficulties of life and offers a solace the most powerful
हेलो
good evening ladies and gentlemen i welcome you all to the annual school concert seniors i'm happy to inform that our chief guest for the evening mr suman saurav mohanty ias has arrived I request everyone to kindly stand up and welcome our esteemed chief guest who is accompanied by the honorable president of our school sister Lena our guest of honor the principal of our school sister Lizzy the vice principal of our school sister shanti and our school coordinator mrs jayanti our esteemed chief guest is accompanied by the school band trained and guided by mr arun kumar sethi On this grand occasion I invoke God's blessings on each one of us and thank God almighty for showering his blessings on us I invite our chief guest and other distinguished members on to the stage for the inauguration ceremony I invite our chief guest and the other distinguished members to light the lamp and begin this auspicious occasion. the auspicious lighting of the lamp by mr suman saurav our esteemed chief guest sister lena honorable president of our school sister lizzy respected principal of st joseph's high school sister shanti our beloved vice principal and dear mrs jayanti our school coordinator kindly give a big round of applause
Thank you. Now we have the bouquet presentation. I invite Mrs. Renubala Samantrai to honor our chief guest, Mr. Suman Saurav Mohanty. I invite Mrs. Namita Rani Mishra to honor the president of our school, Sister Lena, by presenting the bouquet. I invite Ms. Rashmi Sutar to present the bouquet to the principal of our school, Sister Lizzie. Now we would like to honor our distinguished guests by presenting a shawl as a token of our appreciation. I invite Mrs. Grace Whitson to honor Mr. Suman Saurav. I invite Ms. Karina Barron to honor the president of our school, Sister Lena. I invite Mrs. Sunita Missal to present the shawl to our principal, Sister Lizzie. Now we have the pinning of the badge to the Honorable Chief Guest by Arohan Datta, our school assistant leader. Aradhana Bardhan, our school leader, to the president of our school, Sister Lena. Yellow House leader, Akansha Mohanty, to the principal, Sister Lizzie. Now, the welcome card with the agenda of today's program is presented to Mr. Suman Saurav by Somyajit Swine, School Blue House Leader. Anurag Swine, School Greenhouse Leader to Sister Lena. Achyut Srimath, School Red House Leader to Sister Lizzie. Now I cordially invite our school principal, Sister Lizzie, to present the school memento to our esteemed chief guest, Mr. Suman Saurav Mohanty, IAS. 
and our guest of honor, Sister Lena. Please give a big round of applause. Mr. Suman Saurav Mohanty is the additional district magistrate, Paschim Ednapur, West Bengal. He was educated in St. Joseph's High School, Bhubaneswar, BJB College, Bhubaneswar, B.Tech in KIT University, LLB from Utkal University, MA in Public Policy Management from JNU, Delhi. He has been posted as Subdivisional Magistrate, Kalnapurba Bardhaman, Joint Secretary, Forest Department, Additional District Magistrate, Paschim Midnapur. He has authored one book, Public Administration with McGraw Hill, India, and is currently pursuing PhD with IIT Roorkee. Thank you, sir, for accepting our invitation to grace and honor this annual event. Now we begin another most awaited moment of the evening, the release of our school magazine Joes by Mr. Suman Saurav, Sister Lena, Sister Lizzie, and Mrs. Jainti. Please give a big round of applause. I invite the editor-in-chief, Mrs. Jenti, to receive the first copy of the school magazine. Thank you, Mr. Suman Saurav and Sister Lena and the distinguished guests of the evening and all dear parents and well-wishers for taking out time from your busy schedules to grace this occasion. We, the Josephite family, are extremely delighted and honored for your presence to add sparkle to this grand occasion. Now we will begin the cultural program. I invite the distinguished guests to take their seats. Volunteers, volunteers, volunteers.
Prison. We also have two distinguished guests among us, Mr. Munna Khan, present Member of Parliament, and Mr. Ramesh Behera, MLA. Kindly stand up and let's give a standing ovation to our distinguished guests. All of you, kindly welcome. I request Ms. Jayanti to hand over a copy of the school magazine to our distinguished guests. St. Joseph's Higher Secondary School, Bhubaneswar, boasts of a powerhouse of talent, be it in academics, co-curricular or extracurricular activities. The students of classes 6 to 12 are going to showcase their unique talents in singing, dancing, acting and many more. The students as well as the teachers along with the support and cooperation of our dear principal, Sister Lizzie, and Vice Principal, Sister Shanti, have put in tremendous effort. And the outcome is the electrifying performances that you are going to witness this evening. So, let's get ready to click our fingers, tap our foot, sway with the beads, and clap our hands as we witness the mesmerizing and captivating performances of our students in the next few hours. There is no calling greater than God who is ever merciful, ever benevolent and ever glorious. As we Josephites march onward and upward in the momentous task of molding young minds, we seek the blessings of the Lord Almighty upon us with a prayer song by the students of class 12 and embrace God's presence on this wonderful event. I would also like to take this opportunity to welcome one and all to this special cultural event. Music to the universe is like soul to the body, gaiety and charm to life and to everything. The students of class 12 are here to mel melodiously voice the welcome song.
Thank you class 12 students for a blissful start of this evening's events with your calming renditions. A huge round of applause dear audience for the 12thers for their efforts to cordially welcome everyone with their soothing and charming performance. Your attention audience, uh, someone has lost a mobile phone uh, near the entrance. If anybody finds a mobile phone, kindly hand over uh, at this counter. The journey of life has many ups and downs. Life can be cruel at times and put us down. But instead of getting depressed or quitting, we can rise up time and again with a small prayer to our Creator, God Almighty. So please give attention to the meaning of this song as you watch the graceful prayer dance by the students of class 9.
me up to more than I can be. So the next time you feel weary and down, when troubles press you and your heart is burdened, pray to God Almighty. He will raise you up, yes, raise you higher than you may ever anticipate. The teachers in charge of this beautiful soothing prayer dance are Mrs. Grace Whitson, Mrs. Rupashri Patnaik, Mrs. Meeta Mohanti and Mrs. Keka Dey. And the choreographer is Miss Ananya Parida. A big round of applause, dear audience, for the beautiful prayer dance. Now I cordially invite our esteemed chief guest, Mr. Suman Saurav Mohanty, to the podium to address the audience. Respected, respected Sister Lena Jacob, President, Guest of Honor, Respected Principal, Sister Lizzie, <coughs> Honorable Dignitaries on dais, my dear parents, most humbly my respected teachers and dear students. For a moment I am a bit speechless, my emotion may, might have got the better of me because it's a huge occasion coming back to your school long 20 years after you have passed out getting this much honor and respect uh, I don't know what uh, God has seen for me that he has given me this rare honor so I would like to tell you a little bit about myself if you expected me to tell you a big sermon I am not the person for that I have been probably I, my teachers would better testify to that I have been a pretty naughty, above average student, uh, but I would say, throughout my school career, but I would say, with great pride and honor, the later on accomplishments are all because of this very school. <coughs> I started off from this school, did my engineering, little bit about my journey, hopefully that will enthuse all of you. So, I did my education, my father is a retired bureaucrat, so he, it inspired me to do and get up uh, and appear for civil services. When I started on my journey for civil services, my whole question was, can I do it? Do I have the metal to do it? The answers were very difficult to find and mostly negative. Again, for students, aspiring civil servants or people who are thinking that they cannot do the impossible, have faith and belief in yourself. This is what the school teaches us every time. Having that conviction, having that aggression, having that passion in being called as Josephites. We are sure that we will make a name for ourselves in the world stage and this school makes us confident enough to do that. I got my first rank 413, all jubilant, all over the moon and the stars. I was getting Indian Revenue Service, Custom Central Excise, dream job, a lot of sweat and tears. And my mo mother sitting here in the stage, she asked me, no, you have, you can do better. It is the same feeling which you get when you score 92 in your maths exam and your teacher smilingly says, no, you could have done better. Again, the fun fundamental blocks of my school education, gritting it out having humility to accept 
that no 413 is not the pinnacle of success or not the pinnacle of my hard work doing it more i could have given it my best shot made me appear the exam next year honestly i never thought i'd make it this good again i met teachers along the way our same school teachers and they all inspired me that suman you have the metal in you to do better and this is where i am so big thanks to all the teachers as i stand before you all today i read a very alarming statistics 64% of academic students face stress in their lives and i was very alarmed what is stress did we experience it when we were young of course we did maybe world was not advanced enough or we could not know that it was stress so i just went back 20 years back and thought what was that during my time and what is the difference of students who face today obviously the world has become much more equal for you uh, for you all there was no technology google had just come into our lives when i passed out from school <clears throat> the student in delhi or the student in bombay was far more having access to resources than the student in bhubaneswar and i passed out but no i realized that today's student face faces a far more difficult challenge than what we used to face what is that valediction valediction from what constantly social media we are going into twitter we are going into facebook we are going into digital scores we are going into digital rankings and constantly we are validating ourselves main kharab tha main acha hu i have done this i could have done better no i cannot do better we are constantly validating ourselves please stop this validation have conviction our school anthem in the morning teaches us to be fearless to believe in god the almighty and give our best effort please continue doing that i must give a word of small token uh, suggestion to honorable parents out here see the child in you don't lose hope on him as as the actor in tare zameen par says every child is special every child is gifted let us give him his stage to perform and he shall do it, do it with great success finally <clears throat> coming to our school its ideals and values we all know what a great and glorious tradition jesuit convent especially san joseph's convent has out of that very passion i am posted i was posted as a probationer in calcutta i decided to visit missionaries of charity and see the jesuit passion the work for myself and lo and behold i was overwhelmed and i remembered the act of giving our old clothes on christmas day to the poor the feeling of mercy and kindness which we used to get when we used to attend those mass and those uh, sessions on moral science so i would thank my school again and offer my gratitude that the same amount of mercy and kindness which was inspired or instilled in us will help us go a long way in our lives to make the world a much better place finally a word of mention for my teachers all here i can see familiar faces in fact i would give um, when miss renu called me that you are supposed to become the chief guest i went into a hyper ventilating mode for some time because i honestly do not think i am uh, that capable enough but then again being the great teacher she is she inspired confidence no suman you have to come and you have to behave as a good boy so all my teachers i can i saw miss jayanti miss kati mary miss renu all my teachers a big 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 thank you to you i am here because of your values your inspiration and your guidance uh, teachers with that i'd like to end my speech and wish all of you a very glittering success hope all of you reach pinnacles of glory and success and come back as chief guest to our very school thank you a big thank you mr suman saurav mohanty for your motivating and inspiring words i'm sure many of our present students are truly inspired by you and we hope to see many more students reach great heights in the coming years just as you have made all of us proud today by your august presence thank you so much
unity in festivity unity in festivity is a state of togetherness despite the presence of huge diversity it is based on the concept where the individual or social differences in their festivals celebrations cultural and religious practices are not looked upon as a conflict but as varieties that enrich society and the nations and even the world as a whole unity in festivity becomes crucial as we live in a diverse world and it is important to respect and support each other no matter what our culture background gender orientation may be the concept of unity in festivity drives home the belief that festivities are all inclusive in nature yes it is one for all and all for one presented by the students of class 6 
Oh Maria Pitache, Oh Maria Pitache, Oh Maria Pitache, hey, Oh Maria Pitache, hey, Oh Maria Pitache, Oh Maria Pitache, Oh Maria Pitache, hey, Oh Maria Pitache.
observe students of class 6 you have truly set the spirit of unity in festivity with your colorful and vibrant performances united we stand divided we fall often have we heard this told only when we have the spirit of togetherness we can stand the test of time with strength and greatness indeed we are all for one and one for all thank you class teachers of 6 mrs meera pradhan mrs gayatri mishra mrs anupama patnaik mrs aarti mahapatra mrs a mathuri choreographed by mrs meera pradhan and mr samir sanu dalai nothing can repress our spirits this very statement reflects and demonstrates the strength of the unsung heroes of odisha who have played stellar roles in the national freedom movement of india they have indeed proved their love for kalinga the land of convergence of equanimity and inherent simplicity that transcends anything else in life including pelf power and scare now we present a dance drama by the students of standard 10 which anchors our commemoration initiative under azadi ka amrit mahotsav depicting the commitment and chivalry of the great odia souls in the freedom struggle शानं भारत श्रेष्ठ देशान उत्कल श्रुता उत्कल से समो देश देशनास्ती मही तड़े इंडीड ऑफ ऑल द कंट्रीज इंडिया इज द बेस्ट एंड ऑफ ऑल द स्टेट्स ओडिशा स्टैंड्स ग्रैंड सिंस टाइम इम मेमोरियल ओडिशा हैज विटनेस्ड इट्स पीपल्स करेजियस स्टैंड एंड स्किलफुल वॉरफेयर अगेंस्ट द एनिमी बीट देयर विक्ट्री और डिफीट The people of Odisha have always exhibited their strength and unity in the bivouac of life. Unity and solidarity have been the hallmark of indomitable Odisha known as Adamya Odisha. different times odisha had been attacked by various invaders but the brave sons of kalinga and utkala have retained the unity and have retaliated to make the enemies go back even the powerful east india company took 50 years to occupy odisha in 1803 ad the valiant odias prove that for the sake of their motherland they can embrace death with a smile in the annals of freedom struggle the odias have left a mark making the pikor rebellion as the first war of indian independence
Rajguru, the chief priest of Khorda Kingdom, reorganized the Pai cause and made strategy to declare a war against the British in 1804, defending the Varunai fort for 21 days, but got defeated at last and later was executed in a brutal manner. The sacrifice of this great martyr, Jai Rajguru, in the altar of freedom struggle became the precursor to the great revolt of 1870. <laughs> After the arrest of Boxi Jagabandhu and other fellow freedom fighters, the rebellion continued and ignited the patriotic spirit in the people to fight for our motherland. Ren 
Kanamani Pandit Gopabandhu Das along with his friends are known as the Panchasakha of modern Odisha. They established an ideal school, Tatyavadi Bonna Vidyalaya at Sakhi Gopal, which was a catalyst in spreading national consciousness in Odisha that ignited young hearts and minds for sacrifice in the freedom struggle. Bandhu, Pandita Gada Barisa, Acharya Hari Hara, Rupa Sindhu Mishra, Pandita Nira Kantha, Bakula Banara Pancha Sakha, Bakula Banara Pancha Sakha, Bakula Banara Pancha Sakha. In the historic freedom movement of India, the tribal leaders of Odisha have their unique contributions. These great leaders have given a new momentum to the freedom struggle. Hats off to the patriotic spirit and sacrifice. As the protests and agitations spread to other parts of Odisha due to the torture of British on the innocent people, the British in one movement tried to escape the fury and indignation of the people and somehow managed to reach Nilakanthapur Ghatta of Brahmani River on the night of October 11, 1988 
A small boy, Baji Raut, inspired by the movement at a tender age of 12, had volunteered to keep a watch by the river at night. The Britishers reached here and ordered him to help them cross the river on his boat, to which he refused by saying, In spite of repeated requests, he denied to help them. The police then forced fire on the innocent life. He cried, The illustrious names of daughters of Mother Utkar are also written in golden letters who trod in the path of truth and non-violence and carried forward the light of freedom. Odisha, the soul of incredible India, has witnessed its rise and fall over the centuries. But the illustrious sons and daughters of Mother Odisha have contributed immensely to uphold its glory. With the humble dedication, we salute the heroes and the unsung patriots, holding them dear to our hearts forever. Long live Adamya Odisha! Vande Utkala Janani! Indeed, a powerhouse performance, showering praise and respect for our values, traditions and culture.
to glorify our state Odisha. Amo Odisha, Adamya Odisha. This spectacular performance was honed by the class teachers of class 10, Ms. Rashmi Sutar, Mrs. Katie Mary, Mrs. Nibedita Parija, and Mrs. Shama Das. Wonderfully choreographed by Mr. Pankaj Pradhan. The music composer is Mr. Shailendra Kumar Patra. The script writer is Dr. Mrityunjay Rath and narration by Ms. Rashmi Sutar and Arohan Datta. Thank you, Class 10, for this spectacular performance. While I dance, I cannot judge, I cannot hate, I cannot separate myself from life. I can only be joyful and whole by Hans Boss. Dancing is integral to the experiences of being human, a way of expressing and communicating with others, and synchrony with others which connect us a magical feel. Moreover, social dancing is universal to every society and builds trust and unity among nations. The students of class 7 are going to take you through the international dance forms which includes Korean, Hawaiian, Russian, tap dance, Latin American, Spanish, Arabian, African and Brazilian to be precise. Let's see what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up. 
Traz a lenha pro fogão, vem fazer armação Hoje é um dia de sol, alegria de coió, é curtir o verão Vem mais a lenha rojão, traz a lenha pro fogão, vem fazer armação Hoje é um dia de sol, alegria de coió, é curtir o verão
make new friends for a day See the bigger picture, the common goal Make this a place we can all call home Sometimes we all need a little Indeed, dance unites the whole world. What a spectacular performance, students of class 7, to showcase such complex and intricate dance forms. Good news to you all. Thank you class teachers of class 7, Ms. Mamta Acharya, Mrs. Swapna Sahu, Mrs. Rosi Parija, Ms. Y. Hemalata, Mrs. Nishi, and this spectacular dance performance was choreographed by Ms. Ruchika and Mr. Sajan. Now, we will have the address by the guest of honor, Sister Lina. I invite Sister Lina, the president of our school, to come and deliver a speech. Honorable Chief Guest, Mr. Suman Mohandi, IAS, Additional District Magistrate, Medinapur, West Bengal, Reverend Sister Lissy Thomas, Principal, St. Joseph's High School, Bhubaneswar, Esteemed well wishes, loving parents, teachers, and beloved boys and girls. Good evening to all. It's with immense pleasure, joy and happiness I join you on this cultural evening and I think it is a fitting platform where parents, dignitaries and the public have gathered to congratulate, appreciate and encourage each one of you for the academic excellence, co curricular and co-curricular outstanding performances of our school. A Chinese proverb goes like this, if you are planning for a year, sow a rice. If you are planning for a decade, plant a tree. If you are planning for a lifetime, educate children. According to Dr. Abdul Kalam, education is endless journey through knowledge and enlightenment. He writes that education system should retain the smiles on the faces of our children. He also writes that education must build character and inculcate human values in students. Most enjoyable and memorable days of human being is the period of student life. 
during this segment of human life each one prepares for the life here on earth student life is a period of assimilation of true human values which guide everyone until the last acquiring knowledge molding life with intellectually responsible character are essential elements in education the entire education system perhaps can be compared to a manufacturing unit where the raw materials are assembled and a final product is rolled out however one should bear in mind that the process of education does not end with accomplishment of academic qualifications learning is a lifelong process and every learning has to be made a celebration in life there is an anonymous saying the more you learn the better you know that very little you have learned so dear parents and students keep learning keep growing celebrate learning so that life becomes beautiful opportunities of happy learning hearty congratulations to sisters lissy thomas shanti joseph josna haima all the staff and students for making this evening a colorful event and a cultural extravaganza god bless you all thank you dear sister for your valuable words i'm sure our students will remember your words and follow them in their life oneness in rhythm oneness in rhythm is a union of harmony and unity india's diverse culture tradition religion dance music all adds to a remarkable sense of oneness now the students of class 11 are going to mesmerize you with the different indian dance forms and make you all feel a proud indian a proud josephite whose main aim is oneness oneness is the concept of unity without uniformity and diversity without fragmentation oneness is a appreciation of delicious food music dance culture and sports despite all differences our nation presents itself before the world that exhibits oneness in diversity this is india oneness in rhythm ranges from traditional to folk to modern from bihu to sambalpuri to fusion to chhau to marathi to contemporary but all truly indian in spirit bihu an indigenous folk dance with brisk steps and intricate hand movements depicting joy vigor and color Oh, 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 oh. 
Presenting a splendid display of rhythm, sports and oneness. Sculpturist Sambalpuri dance form expressing unity and love. Kathare 
syncretic dance celebrating the spirit of warriors with martial arts and folk traditions
साथ साथ ढोल डाबू के आज
Splendid and vibrantly mesmerizing. It is the true oneness crossing all barriers of caste, creed, religion, community and culture. Oneness is love, respect, compassion and empathy for our fellow Indians. What an alluring, energetic and rhythmic performance. So, Josephites spread happiness and promote oneness. Thank you class teachers, Mrs. Kumkum Mugarji and Mrs. Janis de Souza. The spectacular performance was choreo choreographed by Mr. Prafulla Nayak, Mr. Rakesh Nayak and Mr. Manik Karna. Women deserve to be celebrated for their extraordinary contributions to society, remarkable triumphs and unmatched fearlessness. Despite gender inequalities across all sectors, women continue to thrive and beat all odds. Class 9 students are now going to showcase the lives of women of the past and the present to motivate you, inspire you and empower you to keep up the good fight. Matangi is an aggressive regal form of the goddess who bears a close link with Saraswati, the goddess of music and learning. She, the mother, the protector, is a manifestation of femininity, energy, destroyer of evil, an unfailing upholder of virtue. She is power, she is Shakti. Mm-hmm. 
ಸುಂದರ ಪದ್ಮ ಪದ ಯುಗಡ was the first woman warrior in Indian history to be this brave and powerful and exhibited her heroism and valor in fighting hello, hello. the British. She is the true embodiment of leadership and empowerment. She is an inspiration to all women to stand up for themselves, their rights, their freedom and their voice against all odds. एक महान सभ्यता जहां मिट्टी भी सोना थी और दिलों के दरवाजे हर मेहमान के लिए खुले थे इन्हीं दरवाजों से एक दिन घुस आए कुछ क्रूर शैतानी यादें हिंसा और अत्याचार के सामने जब घायल हो रही थी हर आत्मा तब इस मिट्टी के गर्भ से उठ खड़ी हुई मणि करने का का तिन का था हमने सवारा अपनी वो माटी और घर बारा लुट रहा ये चमन अपना वतन आंखों से अपनी लुट रहा ये चमन अपना वतन आंखों से अपनी आजादी का संग्राम बलिदान मानता है हमारा सौभाग्य होगा अगर इस पवित्र मिट्टी को अपने प्राणों की भेंट दे पाएंगे रही बात मिसाल बनाने की मैं वो मशाल बनूंगी जो हर भारतीय के अंदर आजादी की भूख बनकर दहकेगी संकल्प बोल के हम तो निकल पड़े हर द्वार खोल के गगन गहे विजयी time a woman tries to stand up for herself she encounters many hurdles and difficulties but the world has slowly started seeing a shift in the way the others look at women there is a wise soul in this vast ocean who supports an empowering women may thy tribe increase this is merged with a song which speaks to every woman who has had to live in fear and with insecurity in the man's world it is an ode to the strength that each woman possesses and the indefinable courage that lives in each of us tu khud ki khoj mein nikal tu kis liye aadarsh hai tu chal tere wujood ki समय को भी तलाश है समय को भी तलाश है जो 
तुझसे लिपटी भेड़िया समझना इनको वस्त्र दे जो तुझसे लिपटी भेड़िया समझना इनको वस्त्र तू ये बेड़िया पिघाल के बना ले इनको शस्त्र तू बना ले इनको शस्त्र तू silent one voice becomes powerful no matter what the obstacles education is the only solution one teacher one book and one pen can change the world education is one of the blessings of life and one of its necessities but things did not remain the same women were flogged people were killed there were beautiful dreams turned into nightmares education went from being a right to being a crime why is it that countries which we call strong are so powerful in creating wars but are so weak in bringing peace why is it that giving guns is so easy but giving books is so hard Why is it that making tanks is so easy but building schools is so hard We are living in the modern age and we believe that nothing is impossible It is time to take action so it becomes the last time 
that we see a child deprived of education. Not just the politicians and the world leaders. We all need to contribute. Me, you, we. It is our duty. It has become the first generation that decides to be the last that sees empty classrooms. Let this be the last time that a girl or a boy spends their childhood in a factory. Let this be the last time that a girl is forced into early child marriage. Let this be the last time that a child loses life in war. Let this be the last time that we see a child out of school. Let this end with us. Let's begin this ending together, today, right here, right now. Bhumi, the Vasudhara, the powerful mother nature, is a life-giving, nurturing force, a personification of fertility and femininity, who provides us abundantly all that we need. Let's present a song of praise and worship to our Mother Earth. ignorance lead us to truth. May the light of knowledge removes the darkness of ignorance. Never cut the wings of women. Let them fly, fly and fly and spread the fragrance. Women are power and spirit of the nation. Beti bachao, beti parhao.
Nari Shakti Zindabad. That was a stellar portrayal of women empowerment. Indeed, woman, you can achieve the impossible. The class teachers of this beautiful portrayal of women are Mrs. Grace Whitson, Mrs. Meeta Mohanty, Mrs. Rupashri Patnaik, and Mrs. Keka De, and was ably choreographed by but why? Mrs. Rosalind Mahapatra, Mrs. Kohino Sen Gupta, no. Ms. Ananya Parida, and Ms. Right Pritesha Mahapatra. I know. Hello. 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 Onward Hello. and upward with Thomas More envisioning his Thomas. ideals. Sir Thomas More was an English lawyer, judge, social philosopher, author, statesman and noted Renasa humanist. He also served King Henry VIII as Lord High Chancellor of England from October 1529 to May 1532. Thomas More is known for his 1516 book Utopia and for his execution in 1535 after refusing to acknowledge King Henry VIII as head of the Church of England. Now, the students of class 12 present to you a short glimpse of the martyrdom of Sir Thomas More. Henry VIII was the King of England from 1509 till his death in 1547. During his reign, he even tried to self-declare himself as the supreme head of church in England and even wanted to marry Anne Boleyn, the maid of honor to his wife, Catherine of Aragon. And now, we present to you a short glimpse of what happened to his ex-chancellor Thomas More when he opposed his decision to become the head of the church. And also, End of King Henry, and also his marriage with Anne. And we also want to make the audience aware of the irony that 520 years have passed by but nothing seems to have changed. Even today, thousands of authors, stand-up comedians and activists face the fate of Thomas More. But why? Do they commit some sin? Some heinous crime? No. It is just because they take the courage to speak the right thing, to say the truth. I know we sound unbelievable to you all right now. So, don't believe us, take a seat back and watch it for yourselves. Hmm. <laughs> Enter King Henry, Chief Commissioner and the Chancellor Cromwell. Every single soul that this letter had reached has signed this, agreeing to the last dot. Then could anyone explain to me why in this God-forsaken land have more and the bishop dared not to comply with my wishes? They are traitors, my lord, who have even thought of going against you. We should send the lieutenant and drag the last out of the hope. Please, my lord, patience. Let's send another troop of soldiers with the chief commissioner to persuade him and sign the letter. Why? Are you suggesting that our lord is so devoid of authority that he has to await the acknowledgement of a mere ex-chancellor? Silence! Have the head constable sent to his home to persuade him to sign by the time sun sets today? If he don't refuse to sign the oath of supremacy, then drag him here as the dog he is. For refusing my order is in itself the highest chosen. Firstly, he goes on to decide that I must marry Catherine. Then he goes on and even gets a letter of consent for the marriage from the bishop, not standing with the atrocious implications of the matter. 
and if this wasn't enough, now he has enough to go against my words and even refuses to accept me as the head of the church and my marriage is Anne. Huh, if this thorn in my path isn't removed, then I shall be turned indeed. Thomas. and Margaret, his daughter, having supper. So, William visited yesterday while I was away, huh? Oh, please, father, I... Sir Thomas Moore. Yes, I believe I am. He orders you to sign the oath of supremacy, declaring him at the head of the church, before the last rays of the sun has vanished from the horizon today. And if you fail to do so, I'm afraid that you shall be dragged to the house of lords to undergo your trial. What? But why would the king go to such lengths? Hasn't my father always been honest and loyal to his majesty? I pray thee, fair lady, do not hold it against me. I am but a mere messenger, bound to follow what my lord desires. He speaks and I deliver. But dear sir... Say no more, my darling. Constable, just let me know the date of my trial. Respected, sir. Alas, all good men die early indeed. Constable leaves enter Bishop. My good man, no. Did he yet again refuse His Majesty's order to sign the oath? It is indeed as you said. But why? I understand that you wish to keep the political governance and the religious aspect of the state clearly differentiated. And further, you are even stronger believer in God than me, myself. But this isn't worth risking your life over for. My dear friend, if I were to truly abandon my ideals and beliefs to acknowledge His Majesty as the head of the church, an entity no lower than God, in sooth, I would have lost myself. For what is a man if he is without independent thought, a freedom of speech, and strong ideals that he can stick to even in the face of death? Please, by any means, you convince your father to sign the oath, or he shall incur the wrath of the king. Your Grace, it's not that I do not wish to persuade him, and you should know that there exists not a soul that would want him alive and well as I do. But. He's a man of certain integrity that wouldn't abandon even in the direst of cases. Yet again, I shall try once more tomorrow at dawn, for my heart is now set to it. To be. The following morning. Father, God more regards the thoughts of the heart than the words of the mouth. Or oh, so you have always told me. Yes. Then say the words of the oath, and in your heart, think otherwise. <sighs> what is an oath then but words we say to God? Listen, Meg, when a man takes an oath, he is holding his own self in his own hands like water. And if he opens his fingers, then he need not hope to find himself again. Some men are incapable of this, but I would be loath to think your father one of them. But in reason, haven't you done as much as God can reasonably want? <sighs> well, finally, it isn't a matter of reason. Finally, it's a matter of love. Troop of soldiers enter and drag Moore out of his house.
scene of trial in the house of lords master secretary drum Have you the charge? I have, my lord. Then read the charge. That you did willfully and maliciously deny and deprive our liege Lord Henry of his undoubted servant title, Supreme Head of Church in England. But I have never denied his title. It was but my silence, and for my silence, I am punished with imprisonment. Why have I been called again? On the charge of high treason, Sir Thomas. For which the punishment is not imprisonment. Then, comes for us all my lords yes even for kings he comes the death of kings is not in question sir thomas nor mine i trust and will prove guilty your life lies in your own hands thomas as it always has is that so my lord and i will keep a good grip on it so sir thomas you stand on your silence i do in men of the jury there are many kinds of silence Consider first the silence of a man when he is dead. This is silence pure and simple. But let us take another case. Suppose I would take a dagger and kill a person with it, and my lords there, instead of stopping me, maintain their silence. That would be a guilty silence indeed. So silence can, according to the circumstances, speak. Let us consider now the circumstances of this prisoner's silence. The oath was put to loyal subjects up and down the country, and they all declared His Grace's title to be just and good. But when it came to this prisoner, he refused. He calls this silence. Ne, this silence was not silence at all, but most eloquent denial. Not so, not so, Master Secretary. The maxim is "Preta sed consentiere." The maxim of the law is silence gives consent. Therefore, you must conclude that I consented, not that I denied. Sir Thomas More, you have been found guilty of high treason. The sentence of the court. Lords, when I was practicing the law, the man was to ask the prisoner before pronouncing sentence if he had anything to say. Have you anything to say? Yes. Since the court has determined to condemn me, God knows how. I will not discharge my mind concerning the indictment and the king's title. The indictment is grounded in an act of parliament which is directly repugnant to the law of God and is holy church, the supreme governor, which no temporal person may by any law presume to take upon him. This was granted by the mouth of our Saviour Christ Himself to Saint Peter and the bishops of Rome, whilst he lived and was personally present here on earth. It is therefore insufficient in law to charge any Christian to obey it. More than this, the immunity of the church is promised both in the Magna Carta and the king's own coronation oath. Now we see you're plainly malicious. Not so. I am the king's true subject. I pray for him and all the realm. I do none harm. I say none harm. I think none harm. And if this be not enough to keep a man alive in good faith, I long not to live. I have been found guilty of high treason. The sentence of the court is that you will be taken from the court to the Tower of London until time and place will be appointed for your execution. <laughs> oh Lord. Lord, what have you done? If that be the case, in front of all the lords gathered here, I refuse to sign the oath. Even you, Bishop? Yes, even I. For my duty also lies in my service and dedication to the church and God, its highest authority. Fine then. The court further sentences that the bishop be taken to the Tower of London along with more to be executed. Dismiss.
the execution scene. My most faithful friend, the time has finally come where even as we go together, we shall part ways. No, it was indeed an honor to be blessed with a friend like you. It is my privilege that I get to die alongside such a man. My fellow citizens, be a witness with me for now I die in and another faith of the Holy Catholic Church. I die a faithful servant of God and of the King. Pray that for all of you that God may enlighten and inspire them. Executioner, take courage, man, and don't be afraid. Ah, now that it has come to this, I tie the king's royal servant with God first. So, passed a man of unrelenting character, his great love for truth, justice, and fidelity to God's laws led him to his very own death. Now, this was roughly 500 years back. Well, now let us have a modern contrast of what happens to people who take courage to raise their voice against the people of power, even now in the 21st century. century huh well how many of you love reading books I know I do well have you ever thought if the authors to our favorite books are safe or no oh look there's an author there let's find out yeah Words have more power than anyone can guess. I never hesitated to use them when I fought any battle for the miserable and oppressed. People are so afraid to speak, it would seem as if half our fellow creatures were born with deficient organs. Like parrots, they can repeat a lesson that the voice fails. Dead? Well, uh... Too much for safety, I guess. Maybe, maybe the stand-up comedians are safe. Uh, let's, let's find, find out. out. Good evening, guys. I have a joke on freedom of speech, but I don't have the freedom of speech to say it because speaking up. Does this in our country? At least better than death, right? He's still alive. Yeah. So let's find out what happens. Sit karo! Sit karo! It is our job as people who have a voice to recognize our privilege and use it. Our boss is a chaiti. Such bolne ki sazana do. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Alas, my father's biggest sin was to speak truth against blasphemy, the most unforgivable sin in it. The most unforgivable sin in it. No, 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 no. My father's biggest sin was to speak truth against blasphemy, the most unforgivable sin in it.
when you all saw what happened to Margaret, Thomas's daughter. She's lying in such a sad state just because Thomas Moore was killed. And why? Because he spoke the truth against injustice. Even after so many years have passed, even after human civilization has developed and advanced to such a high extent, we don't at all hold the qualifications to call ourselves as developed. True indeed. For when humanity is deprived of its basic rights and society curves our freedom of speech, it is no longer a matter of development anymore. Walter once said, I might not agree with what you say, but I'll defend in death your right to say it. In this modern world, people who take the courage to speak the cold and merciless truth have always continued to be silenced. Many a times by the common populace. Many a times by the high authorities. It's sad to say, but when someone makes a light joke nowadays, half of society loses their sense of humor and the other half urges him to his demise. Well. After all that we have said today, we really do hope that it strike at least a fire in each one of you to protect and defend the fundamental rights that the state provides us, to speak up against injustice, to not stay suppressed and to fight for the rights that we being the citizens of the biggest democratic in the world rightfully deserve. But we do hope that the case of Thomas More would not be repeated in current day society. The Josephites promise to uphold the ideals of Sir Thomas More with going along with our motto On power and upward. Thank you, students of class 12, for the superb display of your acting prowess spreading the beautiful message that a right cause never fails, a true word never hurts in the end. The superb acting prowess was perfectly honed by the class teachers of class 12, Mrs. Jayanti and Mrs. Bhagya Lakshmi. What is life without the ideals of wholeness? That is friendship, love, hope, empathy and identity. These five qualities are so deeply interconnected that to truly live it is to accept the oneness and embark on life's journey. These gifts of character awaken us to the purpose and presence of our life's ultimate goals. So we, the Josephine family, welcome you all to celebrate with us, the Aethers, our themes for today's concert, the radiating virtues of mankind, the true ethics of self. Love is immortal, the one which sustains us through the difficulties of life and offers a solace, the most powerful emotion, the adhesive that holds us together. Love is simply there with us, whether we are sad, happy, discouraged or hopeful. Love is there within all, whether or not we feel we deserve it.
Don't you give up, nah, nah, nah I won't give up, nah, nah, nah Let me love you Let me love you Hope is the diamond which is buried under a rock It is that relentless spirit inside us Which tells us to keep fighting To keep striving and to keep the optimism inside us alive. The very thing that pushes us again to rise and achieve is hope, without which it is impossible to dream of a tomorrow. <laughs> मन धड़काए बदरवा मन धड़काए बदरवा मन मन धड़काए बदरवा पानी देगा पानी देगा पानी तो बरसा Empathy is one's ability to understand another's feelings and thoughts. If we have empathy, we will be respecting and caring for everyone we come across, irrespective of any other fact. We will never criticize or judge them, rather we will give them constructive feedback, selflessly to make them better. That's how empathy can influence this society into a better one. तुझको रब बुला ले हम न रब से करने वाले राह में डट के खड़े हैं हम चारों से नजरे चुरा ले चाहे जितना दम लगा ले जाने न तुझको ऐसे देंगे हम जाने नहीं देंगे तुझे जाने तुझे देंगे नहीं दो कदम का ये सफर है उम्र छोटी सी डगर है एक कदम में लड़ खड़ाया क्यों सुन ले यारों की ये बातें बीतेंगी सब गम की रातें यारों से रूठा है साले क्यों जाने नहीं देंगे तुझे जाने तुझे देंगे नहीं
माँ ने खत में क्या लिखा था जिए तो जुग जुग ये कहा था चार पल भी जी न पाया तू यारों से नजरे मिला ले एक बार तो मुस्कुरा दे उठ जा साले यू सताता है क्यों Friendship is a state of enduring affection and trust between two people. It is always a sweet responsibility, never an opportunity. It is important to have a good friend in life to share and learn valuable lessons. A good friend is like a heartbeat, silently supporting a like system.
There is this incredible invisible force that controls our whole life like gravity. It is identity. Finding identity is ultimately about finding out who you are. In the social jungle of human existence, there is no feeling of being alive without a sense of identity. The qualities like friendship, love, hope and empathy all comprise identity. We are not born great, we achieve greatness. Speak for yourself, tell us your story, no matter who you are, where you from, irrespective of your skin color and gender, we are one. One's life has value so long as one's attributes value to the life of others. By the means of love, friendship, equality, and empathy as put by Simon de Bevier. Just a young gun with a quick fuse. I was up tight, wanna let loose. I was dreaming of bigger things. Wanna leave my old life behind. Not a yes, sir, not a follow up. Fit the box with the mold, have a seed in the foyer. Take a number. I was lightning before the thunder. Indeed, it was a radiating and sparkling performance, portraying the qualities of love, hope, empathy, identity, which is the need of the hour. Thank you, dear students of class 8. Class teachers of class 8 include Ms. Navjyoti Jagdev, Mrs. Supriya Sahu, Mr. Raman Murthy, Mrs. Nina Kumari, and Mrs. Jasmine Das. And the beautiful performance was ably choreographed by Mr. Leo Raja and Mr. Raja D. Thank you, students. No, no, no. Conclusion. Conclusion. <coughs> no, no, no. Now that we have come to the end of a spectacular and electrifying extravaganza of superb Josephite talents. I would like to wrap up by extending my heartfelt gratitude and thankfulness to our esteemed chief guest, Mr. Suman Saurav Mohanty, IS, and honorable president of our school, 
Sister Lena Jacob for taking out time from their extremely busy schedules to grace our annual day function. I also take this opportunity to extend my sincerest thankfulness to our dear respected principal, Sister Lizzie, and Vice Principal, Sister Shanti, for always encouraging, guiding, and supporting us. A big thank you to all the teachers and students for all your hard work and dedication to make this evening a grand one. And yes, a special thank you to all our dear parents and well-wishers for motivating us with your August presence and making this event even more special. I, on behalf of the entire Josephite family, extend my most devoted thanks to God Almighty for making today's event a resounding success. Thank you, one and all, for appreciating our sincere efforts and making this annual day celebration a memorable one. And now I call upon the school leader, Aradhana Bardhan of class 12, to give the vote of thanks. A, jo a joyous evening to each one of you. On the behalf of the management, staff, and the beloved students of St. Joseph's High School, I, Aradhana Bardhan, am delighted to have been given this opportunity to thank each one of you for your presence here with us tonight on this annual day function 2022 of St. Joseph's High School, Bhuvneshwar. I would like to thank our Honorable Chief Guest, Mr. Suman Sara Mahanti, for giving us his precious time and giving meaning to this occasion. I would like to thank our President, Sister Leela Jacob, who never fails to bring glory to this school that our Josephites so proudly flaunt. I would like to thank our dearest principal who gives her all to the school and is instrumental in bringing this show together. I would like to thank our vice, our vice principal, Sister Shanti, and all the fellow sisters, Sister Haima, Sister Joshna, and anyone in between who has held a hand in bringing the star shine in this evening. I would like to thank our teachers who have helped us to do our best on the stage. I would like to thank the hardworking staff and anyone in between who has lent a hand in bringing this show together. I would like to thank our parents without whom this evening would have lost its charm. And last but not the least, I would like to thank this very school that I am personally indebted to, as would my fellow Josephites resonate with. This school for us has been an epitome of perseverance, compassion, and vision. Truly has the school given me opportunities to grow in love and friendship. Truly do we go onward and upward. Thank you very much. Have a pleasant evening. Now I request everyone to kindly stand for the national anthem. अधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कल बंगा हिंद हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल जल धितरंगा तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मांगे गाहे तव जय गाधा जनगण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे 
जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे All the teachers are requested to kindly assemble near the nursery. And near block 2, please. All the teachers are requested to assemble near block 2 behind the stage. If anyone finds any mobile phone, kindly hand it over to us. All the teachers kindly come to the stage.
Play time with the audio big bowl sale. <laughs> Shop now. No, ami, ami, and I'm Danny Pella, and I'm going to meet us.
Jazz in the mix. Jazz in the mix. Edge, edge, edge.